Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to the patch review for patch 1.4.107. Uh, patch went live, the patch notes went live earlier this morning. Um, for the patch for the 21st. Now, first thing I want to get out of the, uh, off the, off my chest and out of the way. Um, there is no, um, skill tree patch in, or no skill tree included in this patch. Um, they're still working on it. Uh, in the next month or so, we should hear, or even hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we should hear something about a, a change up of it or, or something like that. In the meantime, uh, as we scroll down here, here is all the big changes for this, uh, for this patch. We've got the assassin mech. Uh, if you guys don't know, I will be streaming the assassin on Tuesday, tomorrow, uh, when the patch goes live at 1 a.m. slash 1 p.m. Pacific, uh, which means it'll be about, uh, 10 a.m. ish here um, in Ontario, give or take. Usually I'll go live around one or two um, after I've made sure the patch is good to go. Um, we got the new champion and trial mechs to try out. Uh, there's going to be some new items, titles, and badges as per usual with the mech. Uh, there's been, again some game plan changes with the critical hits and component health. Clan targeting computers have gotten changes because of that because one of the bonuses associated with them is critical hit chance. Um, and there's some obviously the usual fixes and changes. So obviously the assassin is here, the 40 ton, uh, I like to call it a light anyway. It's kind of like the cicada, but technically it's a medium, um, medium mech, lots of missiles, got some DACA to it. Um, ECM, uh, jump jets, you name it. It's gonna be quite the, quite the little, the little, the little mech of, of pain and death. Um, overall, there's uh three, four, or five, there's six variants coming to the game. We got the 21, the 20, sorry, the 21, the 23, the 101, the 26, the 27, and the DD, the Dark Death. So six variants in total, counting a seventh if you uh, got the special um, S version by paying the extra 20 bucks. Um, there's obviously the new trial mechs we're going to get. So we've gotten the, the Wolfhound. 1C, which we're going to actually look at the uh, the builds for it. So it's going to have uh, one large pulse and four medium lasers. Uh, we're also going to have a Phoenix Hawk. There we go. And the Phoenix Hawk is going to have six medium lasers in ECM. No mask, no jump jets. Nothing. Oh, no, got some jump jets. Sorry. My bad. My bad. Uh, we're also going to get a Warhammer 6D. In the trials. Or as a new champion, sorry. With uh, two large pulse and five medium lasers. I'm going to cough. I apologize. There we go. Close that one. Uh, we're also going to get the MX-90, which we already know what that's going to be. Kabunk. Four Ultra Fives. With a lot of ammo. Uh, we're also going to get, obviously, the Adder Prime as well. As a new champion. And the build-out is... Uh, four, five medium lasers and a butt-ton of heat sinks. We're going to get the Nova S as well. That's going to have two AMS, uh, two, four, six double heat sinks. Oh, actually it's got three AMS. Holy crap. And, uh, six medium lasers. Holy crap. I didn't realize it had so many AMS. Uh, we're going to get a Hellbringer F. With uh, two large pulse, three medium lasers, and ECM, obviously, because it is a Hellbringer. And what is a Hellbringer without some ECM? And you can see the prices on the side here, by the way. And then, obviously, last but not least, we have a Kodiak 3. Now, the Kodiak 3, um, they kind of went non-meta with this one, for the record. Uh, they went uh, Qual Ultra Tons and four medium lasers. <laughs> So they went complete in a, in a Mark computer as well. Um, so basically, yeah, two fives, two tens, and a bunch of medium lasers. So 
Lots and lots of DACA on that thing. Everyone gets to try the Kodiak 3 meta now. You're going to see a lot of these probably over the next day or two. Uh, the new trial mechs, we got the Wolf, uh, the Wolfhound, the Phoenix, uh, the Warhammer, the Mauler, the Raven 3L, the Kentaro 18, the Orion, Oink, and the Stalker 3F. Uh, we're also going to see the Adder Prime, the Nova S, Hellbringer F, and the Kodiak 3, obviously, the newer ones. And we're also going to see a Jenner 2C, a Hunchback 2C, Evan Jaguar Prime, and a Dire Wolf W. I think that's the one with the jump jets? I don't remember. Oh, and then we got our usual new uh, new items and stuff like that. But we're going to get into the new stuff. So, uh, mentioned all that stuff. Uh, some gameplay changes. So, there's been changes to the component health and critical hit system. Uh, basically, they're saying is they weren't working. Uh, critical hits are now going to work a lot better, quote unquote. Basically, they're going to register better from the from the reads. Um, overall, component health is going to be reduced for a, a bunch of things. If you want to read it, go ahead. Um, I'm not going to go through all these things, but component itself and component HP has been reduced across the board um, for a lot of mechs. The thing that was hit the most were the targeting computers, I've noticed. Um, mainly because they do the component or critical um, chance bonus. Those, I don't mind it because they lower the chances of critical hits now. Uh, mainly because they were noticing, I think some of the uh, some of the newer stuff or some of the certain things were doing way too good. Basically, when it came to critting, uh, I believe it was Ghost and PPCs, so they're kind of nerfing those a little bit. Um, overall, I like the changes. Like I said, um, the changes themselves aren't going to be too big, but they're mainly there to nerf the uh crit hunting weapons so your ppcs and your gauss um overall not bad and they also lowered health for a lot of stuff because a lot of people other than gauss and ppcs weren't really doing critical damage and i'll admit to that i noticed that um they definitely fixed that which is good so we'll see how this works this is all from the pts that everyone loved uh overall ux they no longer do the bonus chance to uh, to critical to critical damage. Ghost rifles, ghost rifles, ghost rifles. Um, they only provide a single hit critical hit now. Uh, before theoretically, you could actually get more than one, um, depending on where it hit. So you always got you know. So now they fix that, and they've also reduced the critical damage down to fifty automatically, which is good. Um, basically, it did more damage than it was supposed to. Um, the overall critical damage dealt by PPCs across the board, clan and inner sphere has been reduced by 25%. Spread has been increased for missiles. LRM spread has also been increased. Overall, pretty good. Lots of little fixes that they're doing. Um, there's been a UAV fix. Really? When, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, there's a couple of ones where the jets weren't. They were just kind of sitting there. Um, overall, some fixes with the supernovas. Um, basically just how they were looking and stuff like that. Uh, some paper doll, uh, fixes aspect ratio. Oh, fixes when you were alert. Oh, alert text wouldn't boom. Why don't you guys get it so that people like me can go above 1920 by 1080 and make the UI still look good. Um, overall just quality of life fixes here. A lot of UI changes and stuff like that. Nothing too crazy. Um, information to obviously download the patch yourself if you want to um overall uh, a lot of this patch definitely is a lot smaller than everyone was expecting uh, obviously this is what was supposed to be the big uh, skill tree patch that got pushed back so i mean it's not a big one if i'm not mistaken it's only like uh, yeah they still haven't even decided to figure out what the size is yet um only because they're still tweaking parts of it until up until the last minute which is good um, I mean, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we haven't as many quick fixes after patches now, which is good. So we'll see. But this is the first of many, many, many changes to the critical hit system, I'm hoping. And uh, obviously some uh, balancing. We'll see. Obviously, the big balance is obviously the timeline update. So we'll see how that goes. But until next time, see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.